So you're gonna, this is gonna be kind of your area right here, okay? So, so we're out in the field, come here, Bella. We are testing this hunk of plastic. One, two, three, listen. So the other day I was filming and I was doing like all these cinematic sweeps and stuff and I was watching my friend uh, Dave and Dave I'm going to privately tag you in this. I was watching your shaky cam stuff that you were doing. I think you were filming your kids at a concert and it kind of reminded me that a lot of the things that I th take for granted I think they're just everybody does them. Not everybody does do them and I, I forget about that because I've been studying what I study and do for a long time so it's second nature. So I went on Amazon and bought this thing. This is Ulanzi, U-L-A-N-Z-I. It's definitely some Chinese brand. This is just an injection molded piece of plastic. It comes shrink wrapped. It's shipped in, I don't have it here, but it was in like one of these bubble wrap things like this. And uh, I left it unopened because I wanted you to see that it's just gonna come in like this. And you can already see on this, it's got a screw mount here to shift up and down and clamp in your cell phone, but it's gonna give you handles. And on top of handles, it gives you quarter 20 on both sides, a proper quarter 20 on the bottom so you can get a tripod plate and actually mount it on a tripod. And then it gives you uh, cold shoes. Now, if you're not familiar with the term cold shoe, anytime you see somebody with a still camera and a flash mounted up on the top, that flash is typically mounted in what we would consider a hot shoe. The difference between cold and hot is just that the hot shoe electronically connects to the flash to send a uh, digital signal or current, and it, that would be hot. Cold means there's no electronic connection, but it's a way of mounting something to a product of any kind. So this not having a digital connection here is a cold shoe. So let me just open this right on camera here. Plastics. Oh, that is actually serious plastic. Hold on. Um, this is my lanyard. I have this little tool here. We use this on set all day long. And it's at least got an edge to it. Not a good edge, though. Wow, this is almost ridiculous. Okay, so um, Ulanzi has very, very good packaging for almost no reason, which is ironic, too, because all they're really holding in is this sheet of paper. Um, but that's kind of cool. It gives you the orientations of how this might look on a tripod or handheld. And that's really what we're going to get out of this. So, uh, let me throw that over here. Recycling. That's for my wife. She wants to know that I'm recycling. Um, okay. So, first impression, it's super lightweight. Seems like it's going to be pretty durable, but I wouldn't want to run my car tires over it. Uh, the handles are made for, I'm thinking, smaller hands than mine, because they're really thin. That's okay. Uh, the shoe has a metal insert in there, which I appreciate because you're going to be putting pressure against that, and so that's a wear part. Um, let's see how this is. Okay, so there's some foam in here that I think this red foam, I like red, so that's kind of cool. Um, but I think that will help hold things in. So I've got a small case on my phone. I'm gonna stick that bad boy in there. You know what I don't really know is which orientation would be more proper. I feel like the lens should be up, which does put my volume buttons down, which I'm not too thrilled with, but that's not their fault. That would be, um, that, that would be the cell phone manufacturer. So now I've got this. And I guess, really, the proof's going to be in the pudding when I go out and try to film something. Regarding that. <laughs> okay. So, I am not operating the camera right now. This is my awesome daughter, Bella. You can see in the behind-the-scenes shot that she is holding the camera. And, Bella, how's it feel? Is it, does it feel good holding that? Yep. Okay. Very cool. So, try to follow me a little bit, and we're going to see how steady that is. And this is really the test, because... For me, I've been filming long enough that I can get a steady shot if I really think through the uh, kinesthetics of how my body operates. And Bella is young, she's nine and a half. She's not polished as a filmmaker, but she's been around me a little bit. I think it's been rubbing off because she gets great shots. So how does that feel? Why don't you walk towards me a little bit? All right, 
So is, is this the new steady cam? We'll find out when we actually see this footage. And okay, so now uh, just follow me back here for a second. What I want to do is I want to walk through a couple of concepts right now on camera motion. All right. So when I was a catcher, I, I was a catcher in baseball. In fact, I actually was almost going pro. Um, sad but not sad story. We're not going there this time. But um, when I was a catcher, I would get into my crouch ready to get a ball in. And let's say I had a left-hander throwing, I got a curveball coming in. There's a high probability that thing's gonna hook this direction. So if I was squared up, I might go ahead and slide in. Well, that slide in, that feeling where everything's tight and I'm actually getting my body prepped and ready, that's actually kind of the same type of feeling and, uh, and motion that you might wanna get when you're trying to film steady or in motion with your cell phone. And for instance, right now, we've got this inexpensive cage as an opportunity to go ahead and get resistance from hand to hand. When the DSLR revolution happened, that was all handheld. It was two hands on either side of the camera until all of the cool add-ons came out. And that's uh, a relevant example right now because at some point, somebody said, let's put Tyloo on the screen and you get a third point of contact. The reason why a tripod is so sturdy is because you get three points of contact. Well, with DSLRs, you could get three points of contact, hand, hand, and eye, right to face. The closer you can get to that when you're filming with anything that's, you know, a tripod or handheld or shoulder mounted, one, two, and the shoulder, three points, you're going to increase your ability to be still or steady or smooth. And while you can't replicate it with this tool, you can go ahead and kind of push in and experience some of the smooth motion of your body because you are actually putting that physical muscle effort in to cleaning it up. So, Bella, I'm going to film you for a second. I'm just going to turn this right around. Yeah. Okay. And I'm currently, oh yeah, you're, you're moving with me. I want to get right in front of the GoPro for a second here, ready? So when I'm doing this, I'm putting pressure from my elbows through my hands, not like I'm going to break this. This is, this is, I don't know if it's ABS plastic, but it feels like it might be, you know, pushing in on the sides too hard. You know, if you're a muscle man, you might go ahead and break this. But I don't think we're at risk of doing that right now. But a little side to side pressure, never hurt anything. Oh, there's friends there. Yeah, okay. And I am walking around her right now. And no, it's not a steady cam. But wow, for a $13 tool, this is super handy. What do you think, Bella? It's pretty cool. All right, did it feel comfortable holding it? You've got small hands, I've got big hands. What do you think? Oh, my, my arm was hurting, but I was pretty cool. <laughs>